What's up everybody? On today's Tutorial Tuesday, I will be teaching you how to seam seal a tarp. The same method can also be used for a tent. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. So let me start by giving you guys some background. I just recently did a stealth camping trip using my tarp instead of a tent. Well, we had some pretty bad thunderstorms that night and the tarp held up pretty good except for along the seams. There was one or two spots that had some water drip through. So. It's been lofting, drying off, so it's all good and dry. So now, I, I actually, when I got home, I double checked, and the seams are not taped or sealed whatsoever. So, let me uh, put the camera down, and I will give you guys a good example of what you are looking for to tell if it's seam sealed or not. Okay, so I got my tarp laid out on a table and you can see here's one of the seams. So what you're looking for, this actually is taped. It is seam taped, but it looks like there's a few bad spots where it didn't really hold up very well. You can see how it almost looks like there's a piece of tape running all the way along the seam on both sides. What I will say is it doesn't look like it's too incredibly straight. There's a few spots where you can see like little folds even, spots where it's shiny like that. Not really that good of condition, but we're gonna go ahead and seam seal this again anyways. Just because like I said, it did let some water through. So, You definitely want to make sure your tarp or your tent is nice and clean and dry. You don't want to be trapping any dirt or anything, any moisture in it. So what we're going to do, as I open the package. So I bought this set, this kit off of Amazon for a whole $10, I think. Uh, there's several different brands, several different styles. What I am actually going to do is use the included brush. So, what you want, there's several different. Uh, um, companies out there that make seam sealers you can even make your own like I was saying you can even make your own if you make your own use one part uh, silicone sealant silica, uh, clear silicone to one part mineral water and you don't need to make a lot so let me Crack her open. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread some on the seam. I'm gonna try and keep this nice and clean. But then you're just gonna kind of work it in to all the, the stitching. Now this is on the bottom or the inside of the tarp. Like I said, you want to work it in, make sure you're getting in all the holes and everything. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this does take time to dry. So all you're going to do is you're going to work it in and work your way 
around the whole tent, or in this case, the tarp. Now you do want to make sure that where it overlaps, you are getting into that seam as well because that's another place where water can get in. That way you are fully covering all the entry points for moisture. And again, because this is on the inside, I'm not trying to make it look all pretty, but that's pretty much all there is to it. And you, you definitely wanna do attachment points so as you can see here i have grommets uh i am definitely going to be getting that very very well because uh, as you can see this isn't even seam taped so i'm definitely going to be getting all the attachment points and everything like that very good so that is all there is to it it's pretty easy pretty simple not very hard to do you do want to give it give the tarp or tent plenty of time to dry it can get sticky if you don't allow it to dry for at least 24 hours so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish sealing this I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you on the water.